Good morning, my dear fangs. Welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I hope you all are doing well and had a fabulous weekend. Don't forget to take advantage of my Black Friday sale on my new book, Be Family Apart. Link is in the description. The sale ends Thanksgiving, so be sure to grab it before it's gone, especially if you're looking for a good gift for the horror fan in your life. A few months ago, it might actually be longer, I watched Lords of Chaos, which is about a Norwegian death metal band in the late 80s, early 90s. When I watched the movie, I didn't know it was about a real band or the horrendous things they did. You can stream the movie on Hoopla and Canopy or rent it on Redbox, Amazon, or YouTube. Redbox is the cheapest though, so I would probably go that route. There's also a book, I'll leave the link in the description for those of you who want to check it out. There are obviously going to be spoilers to the film going forward, just giving a fair warning to those of you who have never heard of this or knew about this before. There will be some triggers as well because the band did some pretty disturbing things all in the name of publicity for their band. So Mayhem con consisted of five members, all with interesting stage names. Euronymous, Dead, Count Gershnock, Blackthorn, and Faust. The band embraced satanic lyrics along with satanic imagery and wore ca uh, corpse-like makeup. Euronymous was 17 when he gave himself the name and was self-proclaimed the band leader. When Dead committed suicide and Felice's note, excuse the blood, the band kind of went downhill. They had a hard time dealing with his suicide. I'm not going to go into the grisly details of Dead's demise or the, the disturbing things he did before shows or what he did on stage. I'm going to leave links in the description for those of you who are curious to know all the weird details. Euronymous was obsessed for publicity and the new band member Varg had a hunger for shock and all. Basically anything that would shock the world or the country, he wanted to do it. He would say whatever the hell would get that reaction as well. So the band went down a dark path when Varg joined. A rash of church burnings followed and the band took credit for it in a Norwegian newspaper, uh, specifically Varg. He was interviewed and he gave all kinds of confessions basically to the journalists that may or may not have been true. In 1992, Faust killed a gay man because he wanted to know what it was like to stab somebody. Yeah, I don't understand the point or the thought pattern with these people, but anything for shock and awe. In 1993, Varg, in an apparent fight over contract, stabbed Euronymous to death in August 1993. The director of the film, Jonas Ackerland, was part of a black metal band called Bathory and knew one of the band members in Mayhem. He mentions how the books and documentaries that have been made tried to make the boys out to be monsters with makeup. However, the band members of Mayhem were just kids with great A's. They didn't drink. They weren't abused. They had good parents with no one to blame and nothing to blame for their actions. Jonas Ackerlin went on to say that many believed these kids were devoted to Satan and were politically driven. However, Ackerlin doesn't believe that at all. He believes they were just trying to get a rise. And while saying negative things about the church in Norway is a big issue, since it's a very religious country, you're obviously going to get the effect you want and the reaction you want. Euronymous, near the end, according to Ackerland, was starting to change. He had a girlfriend, he cut his hair, which in metal is very symbolic. He was starting to change. However, he still decided to leave the band even after Foss was convicted of murder. Ackerland stated that seeing your friends slip away and things aren't going well. He tried to hold it all together, but he didn't burn that many churches. It was other people, but he took credit for it. Varg, on the other hand, is still trying to have that shock effect even after spending 22 years in jail. He'll say and do anything to get a reaction, which in my opinion ruined the band. What are your thoughts on the case? I'm a huge fan of metal. I listen to almost every subgenre of it. Many people do have a negative idea of what rock and metal is. Um, I still believe that it's devil's music, but... I think some of it is for the shock value. Not really that they believe in the devil or honestly devote themselves to Satan. Opeth was one such band that did it because of the shock value and well many people during their time when they first started were using Satanism for the shock value. Didn't mean they were Satanists but everyone believed they were anyways no matter what they had for lyrics or what they believed. They could have been all a bunch of Christians, but and honestly had 
subtle lyrics about God, but it wouldn't matter. No matter what, you'd still be deemed a Satanist because of the type of music. People who don't understand something immediately put it in a negative light. Religions, music, so no matter what, people are going to make judgments without looking into things. For some bands, they felt might as well give them what they want, unfortunately. Thank you so much for watching. This week, I'm only doing two videos because of the holiday. Next week, we'll be back to normal. I hope everyone has a safe Thanksgiving and enjoy the rest of their week. Take care until next time. Bye, everyone.